Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. So before we get any further into this, we are holding a space tonight at 8 p.m. UTC. So feel free to join that if you want to catch up in a sort of hourly update we're going to be doing each week. You can drop into that. The link should be in the description for this. If not, just head over to my Twitter profile and you will be able to find it there. So moving forward with the whole basis of this video this morning and this is a really important time for us because I've, I've explained previously things are going to be moving thick and fast and when I say this it's it's all good it's just going to start pouring out it's it's at a point now where there are people working behind the scenes and instead of being caught up and floundering about talking about things you're actually seeing these things developed brought forward and implemented so to understand everything that's going on you need to understand that we are playing out the united vision here and we're trying to keep to this as best as we can so what i've got highlighted in purple are things that are either done being being developed or in development and pretty much i think the only thing in development right now would be this uh new tax approach and restructuring everything and we're we'll getting onto that shortly but endpoints solved we're looking to foundation for more endpoints in the future so that's also providing a more decentralized aspect for our endpoint systems we have been working on the paid per job system this is something that's going to be coming in the near future it's from what i'm aware it's molded more or less from this paid per milestone system to something else and now really looking at this paid per job thing that's all based and built into the governance contract system and everything's released through governance and <clears throat> trying to build these kind of self-serving modules is really 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 important so we have got an upgrade it is up for voting currently i have put a yes vote down on it and this is to do with implementing the dynamic commission and this is really important the reason why this is really important it's going to improve the nakamoto coefficient it is going to introduce a more fair active set. It's going to hopefully foster in a more profitable active set. And it's going to just decentralize everything so much better than it is now and really put a face on this blockchain to show that, hey, we may be down in the dumps at times and we've been trying to figure ourselves, but we're here, we're building, and all we can do is try to change the future in front of us our actions shouldn't be dictated by what has happened in the past and with all these different doxings of different people who have tried to lead the blockchain it's no one person's leading this there's a huge group of people that are just working together in unity moving forward like i said you've got the l1 working on stuff you've got strafe you've got frag you've got so many different people that are putting in time right now to get things done so this upgrade is going to land on the 20th of november that's this month and if this goes through it should go through i shouldn't see why it shouldn't because we've already agreed to have this implemented we just have to do it this way with the software upgrade proposal there will be a slight chain hole it shouldn't be anything too crazy this isn't a huge broad update where there's loads of different moving parts it's simply just this dynamic commission module going in and being put in play this is going to be really good i'm really really interested to see how this sort of reacts how it gets on and and how everything proceeds from this something else we have got up now for a text proposal this is for everybody to vote on and this is reworking those burn tax the whole sort of transactional side of things and this is really a goldilocks kind of moment with the tax where this serves everybody this keeps everybody happy it doesn't upset binance and yes binance have been made aware that there is going to be a rework done so don't listen to any of the fud that's being spread about that that's the beauty of direct communication right just simply reaching out to someone in dms instead of creating a massive mountain out of a molehill on twitter to try and get an answer when you could have just gone and asked and just waited for a response and you know being patient patience is going to be key moving forward for LUNC because there's a lot of stuff going on and if we do want to follow this route where we're going to shadow sort of Luna we're going to try get access to all of these different tools that enterprise are going to provide it's going to be a journey of patience because what we're going to be relying on is for for example Luna to roll something out so then we can roll it out and working in symphony but 
everything that's happening right now is happening on a very positive scale where you're seeing all of the people working together and not sort of getting stuck in the motion of arguing about really meaningless things that are way outside of the control of any one person and it's always been a situation where everybody wants a leader of this chain everybody wants to sort of put the fingers on someone and point at someone and sort of go well you're responsible for it all and I just don't think it needs to work like that and that's the idea behind governance and having this shared sort of ability to vote on things and everything will always boil down to a governance vote regardless of what people are saying what's being slurred back and forth what arguments what spaces it doesn't really matter until you put it in a commonwealth and you propose it you will not know the answer and the longer you spend bickering about it causing a load of commotion about it the longer you spend floundering around it all and the quicker we can get these things put forward get the community to agree the quicker we can develop these things out behind the scenes and this is so 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 good for us as a blockchain right now that has spent i think upwards of like two million dollars right on development to actually get nothing to then be at a point where no money's actually going out at the moment nobody's been paid for a quarterly spend um and you're seeing really good action i mean the price is doing very very well at the moment we're seeing these key breakouts we're moving against bitcoin at times and this is all part of the game right Crypto is like a horse at a rodeo. And it's been bottled up during this bear market. And as soon as you let it out, it is kicking and it's thrashing and it's trying to throw you off. And it goes down, it goes up, and you're like, oh, is it going to keep going? It moves all the way down here. You sell down here, you buy in here again. And it's sort of this idea of having patience and, and more or less believing in your investment, I guess, is something that's really important with LUNC because this is a chain that has been caught up in absolute drama of people who just instead of just saying to themselves well that's what they're saying this is what we're doing that's what they're doing and there's nothing that can change that slanders whatever the only thing you can do in crypto right is prove your worth through actions and things that you do for the chain and this is so important moving forward that people understand right if I hadn't been supported in the way that I've been supported moving forward on this blockchain, the likelihood is I wouldn't have been around as much as I had been to do with the really good stuff of trying to unify different people and get people in the same lanes as each other, remove the frictions between these chains. And because we're all moving in a very symbiotic manner, we're a rubber band, right? We are just one big rubber band ball and we always get smashed back together at the end of all of this up, down, left, right, doesn't matter. We all come back to the center of this part of the cosmos, which is more or less Columbus 5 and Phoenix 1. So as we roll out through this month, look forward to the V3 mobile station landing. All of these different things happening in the background. I don't think I've ever felt this bullish about Lunk. And that's just because instead, like I said, if people just sitting bickering, so you're seeing people building, you're seeing people reach out in DMs and really start to work with each other you've got white whale you've got backbone lamps you've got garada you've got big bang x you've got all of these different things that are popping off in our sector and to be quite honest right if you look at luna's community in comparison to the link community we're probably like three four maybe five times the size of of what they are but just because of the substantiality of this community and how active we are I don't see as many communities as active as we are and the difference is now that activity is not drama based activity it's actually real mature based activity you're seeing these mature spaces the uninterrupted podcast lunk live stuff it's really good everybody likes a comeback story everybody likes a comeback story and lunc is just one of the greatest of all time in my opinion it's got a place in the future but as a community we need to commit to a route we need to figure figure out like I keep saying where we belong in the cosmos where we want to be and what we want to follow because we can't simply keep going a little bit down one route then backtracking then going down another route then backtracking again we just need an A to Z right now as we lead into this bull run because once the bull run happens we're probably gonna have to wait well, not probably we're gonna be waiting to the next BTC half again and it's just gonna be four and a half years of absolute mayhem as to why didn't we do this before why didn't we do this why didn't we get more unified but things are looking good i'm really happy i hope you are too have a really nice friday stay safe stay humble stay aware and as always i'll catch you in the next one